Gru, I love to dance. <laughs> Gru likes to dance too. That's awesome. Yeah, but you can go on your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. It's wonderful to get to Disney Springs right as it opens. Plenty of parking. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. It is September of 2021, which means we gotta figure out what's new at Disney Springs. Now, let's take a closer look. I'm excited to see some of the Halloween merchandise and different things they have already out. But always get here early if you can. It's the best time to really do it. It's not too hot in the mornings and there's really nobody here. Oh yeah, I already have the, the window displays up here at the World of Disney. Let's see, Pluto there, he's getting in it with Chip and Dale. Goofy's a scarecrow, it seems. Look, they recreated Cinderella Castle with pumpkins. Got Mickey and Donald here, too. I always like to look at the windows and kind of see what they have before stepping in. They always do a pretty good job on the displays here. And by the way, that's the first stop of the day, the World of Disney Store. And you do have to mask up at all indoor locations here at Disney. Oh yeah, they've got all kinds of stuff right as you walk in. Look at this, pumpkin overload here. That's amazing, with the sketch of Donald too. Oh, I do like the little welcome mat down there. Happy Halloween with a, a Mickey and a mini pumpkin. If you've got it, haunt it. <laughs> I do like this Happy Halloween shirt right here, the Walt Disney World 2021 shirt. Look at that. A little pumpkin with Mickey ears there. There's a smaller pumpkin here. And have a galactic Halloween. I didn't know they celebrated Halloween and, and Star Wars in a galaxy far, far away. Snap bracelets are, are back. And look at this candle. Trick or treat on the other side. It has the two ghosts wearing Mickey and Minnie ears. And this is the spirit jersey they have. It's pretty neat. Never been a spirit jersey guy, but I know a lot of people do like them. Starting to see more pumpkins this year. I like these. These are ears. Oh yeah, costumes are, are out too. Look at this. Some Mandalorian inspired costumes here for, for Halloween. Classic Darth Vader. I had this as a kid. I was Darth Vader one year for Halloween. When everybody wanted to be Darth Maul and Jar Jar Binks. Well, I don't know really anybody wanted to be Jar Jar Binks, but I do remember this was around the, the time of episode one. I stuck out like a sore thumb and I went as Darth Vader. <laughs> so many Nightmare Before Christmas items here. They have a whole centerpiece and section dedicated to it. Check out this new bag here. That's kind of cool. I believe that is Loungefly who's done this bag. Got some new ears right here with some of the Nightmare friends on there. Just another look at that bag. Some of the pumpkins. I did see this last time, the trinket jar set. I do like that. I think that's really cool. We have a dress here with like little sketches, it seems, from Nightmare. A jean jacket. Oh, is this, yeah, these are the gloves with the cut off uh, fingers there. I haven't seen something like that in years. Little sweatshirt there. Ooh, got some pins. All kinds of Nightmare pins here. There's frames up there. I think that's a skirt right down here. Got an entire section, like I said, dedicated to the Bone Daddy himself. Jack Skellington. Pillows, blankets, kid stuff here. That's really cool. The movie came out when I was about, eh, maybe that kid's age. That mannequin's age right there. And there's an Oogie Boogie spirit jersey right here. It's like a spirit sweatshirt. It's not so much of a jersey, that's a little thick. So is Oogie Boogie. <laughs> it's only fitting. Just gonna look at the front of it. Oh yeah, frightfully fun. And on the back it says Oogie Boogie. And then we're moving on to some Haunted Mansion. Accessories here, look at that. 
playing cards. Oh, these are the little dioramas they have. You got a fedora here. Nate Pagey Mr. Morrow probably rocks that right there. A Madame Leota t-shirt here. Showed that last time. A lot of this stuff I saw last time. No, I did not see these bags. That's pretty cool. Tomb Sweet Tomb bag. And a little over the chest bag here. And this is kind of cool. Look at that. That's very interesting. A little lounge fly bag. Oh my gosh, a little take on the misfits there. Okay. <laughs> Lots of Haunted Mansion stuff. Whole little display here. She's my foolish mortal, is what it's saying there. Some ears with Leota right on top. They're almost taking like a punk rock approach to a lot of this stuff. I remember doing this to myself when I was a kid, like adding studs to my belt and different things that I wore in safety pins. I used to wear safety pins on a lot of my stuff back in my punk rock days. I'm still punk rock. Once, you, once you're punk rock, you, you're not, yeah, it's, it's, it's inside. <laughs> it's not so much on the outside. But it's funny to see, you know, something like Disney taking this kind of approach. I like it, I dig it. It's just, it's funny. Now I noticed on here they're going allowing two per guest. It's probably keeping the eBayers from buying up this whole lot. Not giving, you know, the average Joe a chance to come in and buy it for themselves. This is the Halloween tote bag they have here. It's 24 with any purchase of $40 or more. And this is the first time they are having some Hocus Pocus specific merchandise here at the World of Disney. They have the plush of the Sanderson sisters here. Mary, Sarah, and Winifred Sanderson right here. It's three of my favorite witches right there. And some trick-or-treat Halloween costumes here. Anybody can be a princess this year if they want to be with all the accessories. They have tons of different princess options here. Pretty awesome. Whole little section here. Mostly pumpkins and, and snacks and treats. I do like the, the Mickey up here. But I noticed they have Goofy's popcorn mix up. It's like Oreos and candy corn and popcorn and everything in there. And then they have Chippendale's frosted pretzels that are pumpkin spice. Candy corn and a pumpkin cauldron down here. I like to add peanuts to my candy corn. My mom started that when I was a kid and it tastes like a payday. And these are the, look at this, the Rice Krispie Mickey treats. I like to see these every year. And this, this pumpkin has little candies in there. Kind of cool. I just noticed too that the, that's a like a mini pumpkin there, and then I think this one is supposed to be the Mickey. Yeah, really cool lounge fly bag here. Kind of reminds me of what they used to wear during not so scary Halloween. The costumes that the cast members would wear kind of has that look and feel to it. Little kitchen towels with Mickey and the pumpkin. A little pattern here on the back in the the big section here for what let me show you a grand reveal of this section got the projection on the ground here the happy halloween 2021 the big pumpkin here with the projection in the background and all these ghosts up here they're all different characters from the the fabulous four you got many up there you got donald mickey and goofy Pretty cool. Now I know it's called the Fab Five. You gotta add Pluto, but there's no Pluto up there, so it's the Fab Four. I do enjoy seeing this projection every year too. A lot of pumpkins this year, man. I'm into it. I love a good pumpkin. So awesome. Man, there's so much merchandise around here. Look at all this. A little something for, for everybody. Here's some new pins right here. All Halloween themed pins. There's that Cinderella Castle one. Look at that. The Fab Four once again. Chip and Dale. I like these. I like the way Donald and Mickey look. Scarecrow Goofy. Minnie and Figaro there. I like it. Star Wars is definitely getting into the game this year. This is from the Droid Factory. It's the 
the R6 witch. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. I like that. That's kind of cool. Look at these plaid Crocs here. And the hoodie this year. Even the little fur babies can get into the Halloween spirit here. Oh yeah, these are the these are the Crocs accessories you can get. A little Dole Whip there, a pumpkin, a little candied apple pumpkin. And you put it on top of your, your Croc shoes. Yeah, look at these, these plush inside this pumpkin here. You have Chip and Dale just hiding out. Mini here. And Mickey. I like his little top hat with the pumpkin on there. Lots of good accessories, plush, and different items this year for Halloween. I'm into it. Look at these ears here, the plaid and the orange. I like the plaid. I'm into the plaid. Just a little bit of villains merchandise here. There's a, a throw and then look at this. Put this on your head and it's Hades hair. So you can dress like Hades for Halloween. This is really cool. It's a Spaceship Earth ear pod case. Put your ear pods in there. Spaceship Earth. They have the Wilderness Explorers backpack here. Donald case. And a Magic Kingdom case. I like that. That's cool. Lots of, lots of Halloween stuff out. It's awesome. It's the best time of the year. One of the greatest seasons ever, in my opinion. I love these hats. You could use this for, for trick-or-treating. Look at that. It's Peter Pan. Little Peter Pan hat there. The Runaway Railway hat that Goofy wears here. And a classic mini hat. You could use a lot of this stuff for, for your costumes you can wear for Halloween. They even have a Spider-Man mask here too. I know there's going to be a lot of, a lot of Spider-Man appearances for Halloween this year. Yeah, Marvel is pretty much going to take over Halloween this year. Marvel and Star Wars. I feel like that's always been like the trend. But these are cool. Get your costumes here. This has to be new, this lounge fly bag with Miss Piggy on it. I've never seen this before. All right, that's gonna do it for World of Disney. Gonna venture down more in the marketplace area. Didn't get to film a whole lot of this last time I was here. I was kind of all over the place. I wanna look in the co-op, different stores over in this area. Always looking forward to Halloween season because they get a lot of cool stuff in this area. Gonna go inside the marketplace co-op. Got some new magnets and phone cases here too. The Muppet Show. Look at that. Getting some Muppet Show love there and some, some really cool villains. Phone cases. Some Haunted Mansion love on the Magic Band here among Indiana Jones, the 40th. I showed that last time, it's pretty cool. Haunted Mansion and even Hades right there. Now I showed these dog costumes last time with Abu riding on the back of your, your your pet magic carpet there. Flounder here, and then check this out. They got Sven and Pascal costumes too. <laughs> they got a bunch of new scents over here. Look at this. Scary pumpkin. More, oh yeah, haunted pumpkin. All kinds of different pumpkins. Cinnamon pumpkin, witch's broom. Dragon's blood, haunted. That's cool. Lots of fall scents and, and Halloween smells here. These are fantastic. These are the, the, the poster calendars. So you get posters as your calendar and this is for the 50th for 2022. I'm gonna see if they show the, yep, these are the different ones you get. Love that Country Bear Jamboree. Mr. Toad. Yep, $24.99. Pretty amazing. I might have to pick this up. It's amazing looking at this, the front cover here. I have that record of the Country Bear Jamboree. I have that exact record. I have that pin. And I have this record right here, this vinyl record. And I believe I have that postcard <laughs> right there too. <laughs> that's funny. Wasn't as much Halloween stuff inside the co-op as I imagined there would be, but that's okay. It's still very early in the season. It's only the first week of September. Let's see if there's anything here inside the pin trading that's new. Oh yeah, they're coming out with a lot of new pins. Check that out, the Magical Comics. A 
orange bird there. Some Star Wars. Pirates. Tiana and her dad for Father's Day. That's kind of cool. There's Red. Punchback. Notre Dame. Casey at bat. The reluctant dragon there. Man, that's awesome. These are the new arrivals. And looking under the what's new over here, it's pretty much all the same pins we saw at the, the World of Disney store. Now I know I'm here for Halloween, but I can't not go into the days of Christmas because they do have Nightmare Before Christmas merchandise, which to a lot of people is a Halloween film. To a lot of people, it is a Christmas film. Either way, it has to do with Halloween. All kinds of ornaments here for, for Nightmare. Oh, look at that. It's got her little trinkets up top. There's the, the Oogie Boogie stocking down there. You, you put everything inside his mouth and it fills up. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Got some Zero, some Oogie Boogie, some Jack merchandise. I like the, the Oogie Boogie right there. I bet he glows in the dark. And this is an interesting shirt too. Wonder if there's anything on the, the back. No, it's just the colors. It's literally just the colors, a tie-dye shirt. I guess you can wear that underneath the jacket there. Now they do change this from time to time. Last year around this season, it was the free form, the 31 days of Halloween. They had like their schedule and everything. So I'm sure they'll change this to Halloween probably soon. Let's check out Goofies, see what they got as far as treats go. For Halloween, I hope it's I hope it's open. Same kind of snacks and treats we saw at World of Disney. All the Halloween treats here. Look at all the mini. I love that. That's amazing. Jack Skellington. So and they cool. Have this, uh, some different cupcakes over there as well. Oh wow. Oh, they are good. It's like a pumpkin pie right there. Pumpkin the Rice Krispie. Pie. That's cool. Pumpkin pie, Rice Krispie. Yeah. They have pumpkin spice cupcake, the far end one. Oh, that's a pumpkin. Oh, wow. Now, what is that caramel that goes into the apple? This one is called a chamoy. Uh -huh. So it's apple caramel. Oh, then gosh. there are a few seasonings, tagine. Oh, um, wow. And this is like a hot sauce that you drizzle are on you top serious? of. Are yeah. you That's amazing. Yeah. It's that's so peculiar. cool. Yeah. That's, I've never seen anything like that. I thought that was caramel, but it's a hot sauce. That's yeah. so cool. I bet it is. A little, try. A little spicy. I, I, I couldn't try it. Yeah. It looks like sweet and salty things. That's awesome. And then the one next to it is the churro one. That's the churro one. That yeah. looks really good. Yeah. Well, All right. I like the mummy Mickey right there. A little Rice Krispie treat. Very cool. All inside Goofies here. Yeah, the team inside Goofies, they're always so nice. I always ask them what everything is and they love to explain everything. That was very interesting. The hot sauce going inside the, the apple. I love this dude. One of the animatronics here. Yeah. Good morning, buddy. Crossing the bridge here. Looks like Paddlefish is getting a little TLC. Looks like it's under a uh, refurbishment around on the backside and next to the little dock area on the, you know, you can sit on the side of the boat. It looks like they're doing a little bit of refurb on that, on that side. And here at the Gelato Place, they do have the pumpkin waffle here. Look at that. That's what they have for the Halloween season. I'm sure it'll change. They always update stuff. That sounds pretty good though. Vanilla Gelato, pumpkin waffle. Mm-hmm. Abby would be into that. Gideon still has a humongous line. Barely been open an hour. Already a really, really long line. It's amazing. Boat transportation is still not operating at Disney Springs, just a heads up. You can use the buses to get to wherever you need to go from here, but the, the boats still aren't operating. All right, heading over to the west side of Disney Springs. Not too much happening down here, but we'll still walk down and see what's going on especially at amc last time we were here they were promoting heavily promoting 
the Jungle Cruise. Yeah, in Disney style, pretty much everything they have on the inside of Disney style can be found at World of Disney. There's a few things that are different, but for the most part, especially the Halloween stuff, it's all the same over at World of Disney. Screw, I love to dance. <laughs> Screw likes to dance too. That's awesome. Yeah, but you can go on your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. Looking into the window of the candy cauldron here. Look at this. I don't know what that is, but it's interesting, right? See some of the same candy apples we saw over at Goofy's here, but this this caught my attention. They added some Urals over here in honor of the ultimate princess celebration. You can scan this QR code to access a free download of the Tales of Courage and Kindness story collection. 14 new stories inspires audiences of all ages to carry out their own small acts of kindness to help create a kinder world. There's Princess Jasmine here. Here's the QR code if you guys want to do that at home. It's Ariel. Sisters up there. And Tiana. That's really cool. I'm into it. Salt and Straw is still coming along nicely. Opening 2022 right here next to the AMC. And they are promoting Shang-Chi. The Legend of the Ten Rings. The new Marvel Studios film. Photo op here. Little red carpet action here. Comes out tomorrow. Oh yeah. Not as much decorations as Jungle Cruise had, but this is definitely taking over AMC. I like how they do this for a lot of the new films that come out. Gonna head inside the M&M store here, see if there's anything for fall. Any kind of fall flavor M&Ms or any merchandise. Haven't been in here in a minute. I think since the last time I showed it, which was right when it first opened. Love all the, the Mickey m and &M things they have in here. Don't really see anything for for Halloween though, or anything like pumpkin. Do they make pumpkin m and &M? Sure they have. Nothing Halloween inside the m and &M store just yet. I'm sure they're gonna change that. They'll have something in there, but they don't make a pumpkin flavored m and or at least they didn't have it in there. And also the music was blasting in there. I couldn't film anyways. Probably would have gotten a copyright strike or something. Now right next to it, is the now former home of the NBA experience. NBA officially closed, wasn't even open that long. In my opinion, I think they should have just updated Disney Quest because NBA didn't work out at Universal and their city walk. So why would it, you know, why would it work out here? That's just my personal opinion. It doesn't matter. I'm sure a lot of people had fun and made some good memories in here. But I didn't, I never went inside. I went inside the gift shop, but I never ate here, which the, the City Works is still open. You can still eat and drink here, but the NBA experience, as you can see, completely closed. Several new things happening down here at Disney Springs. A lot of new places opening, a lot of little pop-ups happening as well. It's the one thing I love about this place. It's always changing, it's always evolving, pretty fun but this was a lot of fun I like to get out here every month and see what's going on what's new and I like to bring you guys along for the journey but I think we took care of business here today at Disney Springs seeing what's new this is our September of 2021 update but I think our adventure for today has come to an end which means it's time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed this episode, please click the thumbs up button. The next time you're here at Disney Springs, tell them World of Micah sent you. See you guys on the next adventure. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.